Well, our documentation site so far looks really, really, really similar to just being the Next.js default splash page, which, hey, it is. We just created the project just now. And before I really go further in building upon the template for this documentation site, I actually want to deploy it out to a VPS server. And the reason for doing that is sometimes when we're building stuff on our local environment, well, it doesn't quite exactly look the same when we deploy it out into a production type server. And let's just say, sometimes I do silly things that end up being optimized away once we go into production. So for me, I like to merge my changes and then see what they look like on a production type server. Well, let's go ahead and do that with Cleaver. I already have a server set up, so I'm gonna click into the server and then add a new Nuxt site. And I'm gonna add a Nuxt static website. For the domain, let's just use one of the free default Cleaver domains and then click on add. And this is gonna add a new Nuxt static site to our server. And then once that's done, we'll go to the web app section to complete the setup. We saw that when we added the site, it was also installing Node.js onto the server as that's a dependency for the application. Okay, let's go ahead into the web app section and then complete the setup of our web app here. All right, I already uploaded this to my GitHub account, so I'll select that and then find a repository, which I named docs template. And we'll use the master branch. And then instead of push to deploy, I'm actually going to use GitHub Actions after I click on update. All right, now I'm going to go to the GitHub Actions page and then enable this. When you enable GitHub Actions, this actually creates a new file on your repo. So it adds a new workflow file. And if you're curious what that looks like, you could click into it and then browse it. And it also kicks off a build request. So we can see right here that GitHub is now building our project. And once the project is finished being built within GitHub, it will send the notice back down to Cleaver and then Cleaver will finish the deployment process from there. Okay, we see that the build process is complete. Let's go back and then we should see it pick up here in Cleaver, which it is. And if we click into it, we'll see some more details. So it's activating a new deployment and then it'll clean old deployments, which should go really quick. And as you can see, if my Slack notification and this other notification, boom, it's already done. And perfect, we see what we expect, which is the production website looks just like our local website 